this is a reflected, reflected point. That point is reflected here. And then this way we get a piece of reflected surface from here. And that point is a kind of germ of that uh, two surfaces. One, the original one at P prime, and that one which came from from P point around P point reflected at the mid court. And uh, we consider this uh, everywhere. I mean, some family. Um, then uh, we are interested in this some kind of invariant, fine, a fine invariant geometry of this object, whatever this is. This is of course, curve here, that's surface, some more dimensional things as uh, so later I explain. And then, the, that's what's important. It's important a kind of contact of this, say, maybe there is a, a notion, yeah, some, say, if you, uh, if you consider here, um, say M prime, well, maybe, maybe I'm empty, uh, this is M. So at that point, uh, we, are, we are interested in the contact of these two branches of the surfaces. And, and this is, in this way, we can catch and construct new invariants. Well, you are people of singularity theory, then you know that this is like that. Then, the, then we build a contact function. This is function because the, the surface is in two-dimensional two surface in three space. So the contact function. Contact function, if you have two surfaces, is built like that. You have, say, one surface is immersed, for example, uh, by, uh, as an image of the, uh, of the surface image of, of the immersion. And the next one is a zero of some function because this is... Then if you compose, you get a new function. We call it, after uh, it was introduced by Montaldi, Bruce, uh, uh, we call this uh, a contact function. And this measures really contact of this. The contact might be measured in different ways as well. If you look on 19th century books, end of 19th century books on, on, on tangency, then you, you find also measuring of some tangency of the objects in different way, but it's possible. But this one is for us, singularity theory people, is, is very convenient. So this is the function, you see? This is the function. It is easy to build it, because, uh, uh, yeah, uh, well, uh, um, and then, uh, then uh, you see, this is, the coordinates, ST and UV, the coordinates around that points, P and P prime. X and Y are coordinates here. Previous to me. No, 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 maybe I, it's somewhere here. Oh, somewhere, uh, something here was, a uh, reflected point was here. Yeah, so around P prime. Oops. Um, and some properties of this contact function are very natural. If you consider, say, uh, vanishing, but this is along the chord, you see the chord, but you can also consider the vanishing chord. So going with uh, P and P prime to one point. So that's interesting. Some not very continuous, but uh, in, uh, some which are here, they are continuous. Uh, Process so uh, standard, uh, so f is singular at p if or, or, or at zero zero of course if if only if the tangent planes to to both this um, at p uh, to at p and p prime are parallel if they are, if they are parallel because this is three dimensional object two dimensional object in three dimensions then it's only one wa uh, way of parallelity. If, if the planes are parallel or they, or they intersect, that's it. Uh, in more dimensions, it's more steps of parallelity. So that's uh, also different and more open area to, to understand this thing. So we have here uh, 
and what, what for this is done? This is done just for investigating the structure of the surface. This classical structure of the surface. So, for example, the geometry of parabolic, elliptic, hyperbolic points, and maybe new one. And there are really cut the new one by this method, so-called exceptional parabolic. Okay, but uh, so if the origin is parabolic point of M, then F0 is a Morse function. There's just a lot of results, this type of things. So I only give you a kind of uh, view of uh, how it looks like, but, but of course there are things which are proved and somewhere written in papers. It was, uh, it was, it was, uh, it was common work with several people. I had <laughs> mentioned uh, Peter Giblin, uh, Sidinia, um, Wojtek Domic, um, Zaka Yukin, who, who, who worked on that some time ago, um, maybe some other people, some students of Peter, maybe you, <laughs> but I, but, uh, great, yeah, great. Cliff, Cliff, sorry. But uh, as you see, I noticed, I mean, visually it's okay, but then, yeah, that's, um, okay. Mm, uh, so, uh, okay, so we're at home. Uh, so let's um, go further. Oh, and then parabolic point, uh, another cusp of Gauss is of type A2 star, only if F0 has type A5. For, yeah, I only put some fragmentary results, which are, uh, yeah. And now we pass to the, this, if the chords are, are vanishing, so we have a family, at each point we have reflection at the point. So we have family of reflections, a family of reflections. A bit different notation, but doesn't matter. This is so elementary that, because, because this is a different, a different uh, description a, a, a bit. So, uh, you see, if you have a point of M, um, M is uh, still a surface, two-dimensional two surface in R3, then uh, uh, take some point on the surface, so P, Q, R is a fixed point on M, and then we add X, Y, Z to that, this is in uh, Euclidean space, written so, and, and reflect it at P, Q, R. So then we get this one, yeah, because reflection is like, uh, you know, you change x into minus x and, uh, and y into minus and so on. And then, after reflection, so this is, uh, you, we can also draw the, this reflection if we have a fraction here. So you reflect, um, so reflect, you see, yeah, it's something like that. Yeah, something like that. At each point, but since point to point, this, this uh, contact is, is, is saying something. I mean, it's changing and then it's quite important uh, uh, because this is a, f a fine invariant. Uh, yeah, so uh, the contact function between M and M star, uh, M star this is one, this, this, this one, M is this and M star, um, but that's okay. Uh, so uh, again, we, we we write a contact function, and the contact function is is as a previous one, where you put R S equal to U V or something like that, and then we have uh, we have this function um, as a contact a contact function, and we see that this is unfolding. We can look on it as unfolding of, of symmetric functions because you, if you change x into minus and uh, y into minus y, then you get the same. That's easy to see. So uh, uh, then uh, we are in the area of uh, symmetric singularities, which we studied 30 years ago, <laughs> very extensively. Uh, and then this was also done some papers by, uh, and the subject by Wojtek Domic, I think, and Orchis, and, 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 uh, and Pedro, just Pedro Rios, what? Sidinia also, yeah, but Sidinia I mentioned it. So, uh, and then, uh, that what is important here is this bifurcation set of this unfolding. Of course, 
if we have unfolding or family, the bifurcations are well, but sometimes it's very tricky to define bifurcations. In functions, it's not a problem, but in mappings or some other objects, it's, it's a kind of, of, of new, new uh, notion. Okay, so bifurcation set is, is like that, and of course, uh, a standard here is bifurcation set, and this bifurcation set uh, is saying about the structure of the surface. Something already known, like where there are parabolic points, elliptic, hyperbolic, and sometimes something not known. For example, uh, writing, uh, saying about this uh, extra uh, parabolic points. So this is just the, as I wrote, a kind of uh, results, but very tiny. So as you see, this is uh, like that. But, uh, if we have now, if you pass to, uh, if you want to have to, if you want, if you like to consider this globally, it's a bit uh, different, difficult problem. If you study that problem of this contact of this family of reflections, then, then locally is okay because we reflect locally and give this m prime is local of m star is local. But the global is different. So it appears that just an uh, uh, object which is Lagrangian, so many for, is proper for global description of this of this uh, object. And then, of course, singularity. So I mean, projections, singularity of projections of, of that Lagrangian, so many for this is smooth. So it is like that. Usually, if you have a surface, a three, two dimensional surface and a three, defined globally, say, by, uh, by the function here. Yeah. Might be in uh, many dimensions, but just to focus yourself on, on this easy problem. Then a uh, reflected surface at PQR is global surface, because now, uh, now we don't need to, to think locally, because uh, if this is the surface like that, then this, this one is like that, it's a global surface. And then uh, this is just the function of this global surface. If, if you fix PQR, then, then, then U, V, W is, gives you some surface somewhere, uh, tangent, of course, to, to, to that surface at the point PQR. And how to build, uh, what is, how to measure and uh, now the, the, the tangents. Yeah? And this is just the, the way we construct very natural, say, canonical symplectic space, which is cottage and bundle to R3 times R3, because there are twice, twice our surface. This is one surface in this, and this contact is here. So we have uh, twice surface, so we have twice uh, R3, and then uh, uh, we take cotangent bundles. So one forms. Uh, over reading all over this RT. And the natural symplectic structure is a sum of symplectic UV structures in T star RT. The sum, not minus, plus. And then we have natural, only one possible tendency me measuring, measuring contact of these two surfaces uh, uh, globally, surface uh, uh, gen uh, Lagrangian submanifold, which is generated by generating Bohr's family. Uh, some times ago, in these conferences, were uh, talks about Lagrangian similarities. And then uh, this is the global. Uh, uh, now, uh, if we extend the problem, I, I, I finish in the previous uh, page. Uh, then, then we investigate properties of this Lagrangian stuff. And that's saying about the global properties of, of, of the surface. If M is, this, is a surface in R4, then the uh, situation is a bit, uh, maybe different only because there are no functions but mappings. So the contact map. Now it's a map R2 into R2 because, uh, because this is two surfaces in R4. And then the uh, contact uh, family is, is like that. And the singularities of this mapping 
but contact, contact classes of people are as follows. This is in Tadadam. In the beginning, but of course, we, we are studying a contact uh, equivalency here. And then uh, the application set of that. That is a bit, uh, a bit, uh, we have some problems with that. This is the common work with Lydia and Tengibri. That um, uh, the bifurcation set is PQ such that the X is the XY, so that F is unstable at XY. Unstable uh, with respect to K, K so contact equivalence. Uh, of course, symmetric maps, because symmetric, still this map are always symmetric. This is uh, easy to, to see. And this is and this is all what I wanted to say about affine invariants and uh, approaches. There are also uh, extensive uh, investigations of uh, singularities or midpoints, uh, and uh, um, uh, very uh, video caustic. I take it doing with uh, Michal uh, also, but uh, but then I, I have no time, unfortunately, to. <laughs> This is uh, interesting because um, with me, yeah. So let's now uh, move to another branch. Of it. So far, this is uh, 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 some singularities. Uh, Pass to symplectic singularities through uh, investigation of some very elementary properties of differential forms. Elementary because. You can, if you have a differential form, you always integrate it, for example, this is global thing. But you also can restrict it, this is local things, but also sometimes globally. So you, you can do, uh, differential forms are very uh, useful everywhere, in each branch of science, of science in fact. So uh, let's uh, consider uh, in terms of, uh, of K differential forms on, on M, on M, this is N fold, but this is maybe R N. And uh, and a germ of a subset, and it might be gen it might be any subset, so a differential space, for example, only or maybe structure, and uh, and we consider restrictions. So how the functions are, how to restrict functions also. Now that there are some subjects of that, but for forms uh, also because. And here we define the kind of uh, two, two spaces uh, of forms. One, uh, this one, is a forms which are vanishing uh, coefficients. If you have a form and a coefficient and some d, a, d a and so on, this coefficient is vanishing at the point of n. So this is called, or you can uh, consider the forms uh, vanishing uh, at the points of n uh, on all, all tangent vectors. Uh, to the, to the space to n, to n, and then uh, we you consider we consider this type of uh, forms which are in the in the kernel of of restrictions. Say if if you have uh, yeah, so the, these are really vanishing uh, restriction to, to, to such forms of uh, and to n vanishing on this, and then. Uh, we call algebraic restriction. This is uh, was introduced by um, I think that Michel Tomiuski. Then we this, uh, we work on that. Poitak and Go. Recently, recently I, I will mention the results. Results. And uh, so this is algebraic, very natural algebraic definition. No, no very fancy, I mean, don't worry. See, this is just uh, a display, uh, character A here, because algebraic. And it's a set. And uh, that is an element of this quotient space. That means that we call that uh, M is equivalent to MT, that if the difference is of type alpha plus d beta, where alpha is vanishing, coefficients of alpha vanishing, and then coefficients of beta vanishing on that. So that's, uh, that's very elementary. That's not. Yeah, and some uh, properties, cohomologically, and other things there are here, and, uh, but there's some uh, things to say, but we'll be 
things. So uh, uh, this is we can form the um, this this uh, complex. It's a subcomplex that of the round complex. You know, if this star means that the, this is very when you came here. Uh, and the homologies of this complex are also defined. Uh, so this is algebraic. There is also geometric restriction. Uh, geometric restriction is uh, uh, introduced by uh, our, by Do Nishikawa. But it was known. This is why the conference in September is called algebraic and geometric singularity combined. And then uh, geometric, you know that you, you can uh, uh, pull back the form, for example. You have a, a parameterized curve or surface and you pull back the form, then it is kind of uh, geometric restriction. If it's smooth, the image is smooth and uh, certainly, but if not smooth, even if it's not smooth, then it is uh, smooth uh, restricted uh, geometrically to its strata, and then it's called geometric. And uh, uh, this is like that. But if this is any set, not, uh, not static, I mean any, any set, then there is a problem. How, how much uh, then right we you can impose here. Right? So, because of course, if we assume many things, then we can prove many things. But, uh, but that's OK. Uh, then the geometric restriction is defined like that. Then we, we consider the omega such that f star omega is equal to zero. For any, we, we consider any mapping from, say, this is still some assumptions here. From z to m, z is uh, some manifold, some manifold. From any c manifold z, with such that the image is 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 in n. So n might be might have might be more general than stratified set even. Yeah. So if we pass through all these these this, uh, mappings, and this is so, and then omega. Then omega belongs to that space, which is uh, called the geometric restriction is vanishing. So geometric restriction of omega to n is an equivalence we call the residue class of, of that, but this is not necessarily residue. Uh, so if we uh, take a quotient space of all forms by that, which is the kind of kernel, then we get geometric restriction. So the equivalence as before. The but that's, that's a, a kind of parallel uh, object in, uh, to the previous one, which was geometric. This is, this is geometric, it was algebraic. Algebraic restrictions are on to a, a, a defined a fold in that way, and geometric restrictions to a wrote in that way. This looks very similar. And then, what is interesting here, problem, that uh, you see, uh, now of course, uh, this is uh, the ge this geometric, uh, these geometric restrictions are declosed and so on, so that, that's easy to check every the propositions here. And it's also easy to see that uh, this uh, G, uh, all this uh, geometric, vanishing geometric restriction, I uh, contain the uh, algebraic uh, uh, vanishing geometric condition, uh, uh, form. Uh, algebraic, 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 algebraic uh, uh, vanishing. So, uh, so then, uh, that what we have, we have algebraic restrictions with no geometric restrictions to add. I will introduce such okay? So this is the uh, quotient space. This is just the residual space. There are very residual forms, very special residual forms, which uh, in some, some cases, like one dimensional case, they are standard. Um, but I should also say, if I uh, come to the to curves, that this problem of um, uh, Symplectic classification, but not, sim not symplectic. Actually, yes, then not symplectic. 
So this is the, the space, very interesting space, and we want to want to investigate it. And that's of course the, the, this uh, this uh, the sequence, very natural, very uh, natural, natural and this was uh, I don't, I don't think I introduced by Arn. Who was in 1999 a curse, symplectic uh, singularities of, uh, of curse, of, of singularities of curse. And he classified AK uh, types of singularities and noticed what, what is uh, here in part from I mean, this algebraic restriction notion that. Uh, uh, if there is single, if you if you have a curve, smooth curve, then of course uh, if you pull back the form, say two form, then the law is vanishing. Yes, uh, one, uh, two form on, on one dimensional object is always vanishing if the object is smooth. If not smooth, then no, not necessary, because uh, because there is a kind of uh, Zariski cone appear in the. Uh, with the singularity, and this is supposed to vanish uh, form. So on that object, there, there is something invariant, for example, if this is symplectic form. So uh, I'm not uh, told that this is ghost, uh, because invisible was invisible, and in fact, was in some, in some sense on the tangent space to this, to the manifold on which this curve can, can stay. So, so, so the curves, they, have, they are purely, pure ghosts. They, they only present, I mean, this residua on the former, uh, uh, on that object, if any is curved with singularities, they are pure ghosts living in the paradise or somewhere. But if this is more dimensional, then they have lots of bodies. Like, uh, yeah. But uh, they are ghosts. Invisible, completely invisible, only catch in a kind of uh, higher dimensional, higher space, I and mean, tangency space, invisible space, another space. Okay, so uh, there, uh, so consider a K-type plane curve singularities in R to N. <coughs> might be R to N plus one, but okay, I don't know if it's R to N. And then uh, the curve is. Uh, Let's be given some coordinates like that, and then consider all forms on that. Maybe let's consider two forms, many forms, maybe that, many forms, and also consider uh, four curves which are two dimensions, which have singularities, say, uh, uh, on, uh, two dimensional singularities. I mean, that because might be curve, uh, might be singularities which which Zariski uh, uh, cone might be three dimensional, four dimensional, and so on. But let's be this. This one is two dimensional. Then, if this is two dimensional, the the, the the tangent cone, then then we can write this like that. Uh, this, uh, this. And then consider our residues. This ghost. This ghost are span. This is very interesting that. Uh, for uh, isolated points uh, and for curves of other isolated points like this. So this space is finite dimension. And always is like that for, for, for uh, uh, isolated points like this. So it's finite dimension. So this space of residues is finite dimension and this is these forms are generated by for example by this form, but this is class. You see, this is class. So we can, of course, make another uh, element of this basis. But this one is nice because it is symplectic, but that's not enough. So we have such uh, family of forms which are generating all forms in that space. So this is necessary to take this one plus with i equal 1. Uh, switch coefficient i plus uh, this one with, with question b and so on, we have that, and this is our whole residue. Uh, some calculations that you, you can see this is relatively trivial. So uh, if, you have, if you have this, 
then of course, well, you see, if you have any form, any form, then finally you get only this one because, because all this is vanishing. Then if you put dx3, dx4, and so on, by zero, then, 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 then finally it's only dx1 and dx2 is not zero, since the rest is zero. But this one, uh, h is this one, yeah, h is that. And then, then this one is also, uh, because we have also this condition, that, that this function is vanishing. So this differential is also vanishing. So then this one is vanishing, and this one is vanishing, since this one is vanishing. Then this one we can make modulo of that dh of that. Reduce more algebraically by these elements here. So then that means that we in fact <coughs> we have <coughs> we we are we are we, we have just the uh, Jacobi ideal defined by differentials of H. And then uh, everything is modular of the Jacobi idea and all the coefficients. And then it's easy to see that, that all these forms uh, looks like that. Yeah. And then we find this one. But we can add extra things built by x which are with other coefficients. So we can replace these things, which is of course not so great. It's very degenerated form from, from R to M. Uh, we add some, uh, some these elements and get symplectic form. And that means that we've got some number of symplectic forms which are, exist as a, uh, this residues all over curve with singularity of type A, A to K. And then, now, these forms are, are very strange. I mean, you saw that they are not, uh, not in their form. Then, you can construct symplectomorphies from uh, R to N to, to R to N with their form, and then take this, uh, uh, this is the omega, yeah, and uh, take th th this one is taking uh, this omega, you see, to omega i. Omega i are the generators of our residues forms. Then, of course, we can transform by this phi, by this simple tomorphism, all curves. I mean, that was not all curves. That was one curve. It was one curve a k to a k i. In this way, we classified symplectically all uh, singularities of, of the class AK. So AK was split into uh, K extra branches of. So this is the, the way. But then you see, symplectic structure for, and Darbut's theorem helped that. Yeah. In, so then in this way, symplectic structure appears here. Uh, and symplectic structure is, uh, you, you remember, this is too manifold, and I guess this Well, I mean, these properties, dimension, there is that, that good coordinates are saying that locally always we can have this omega like that, and symplectomorphism is, uh, um, morphism preserves the, the form, if you take a, a pullback of form, and then you get it that's again. And symplectic invariance now is using the symplectomorphism, like affine invariance, it was using affine, uh, conf, and so on. Topological invariance, uh, yeah. homomorphism, and then here yeah, symplectomorphism. So uh, anyone into delta zero of, uh, of subsets, we call them symplectomorphic. Of course, if, if this is what, what is left after act, act and action of symplectomorphism? Now invariance. So geometric restriction, uh, which we introduced before quite generally, uh, in smooth case, smooth manifold, it has a smooth manifold of M, uh, is, is giving complete symplectic environment. If S is smooth, and if you are in symplectic space. I mean, 
do two form, which is going to generate omega. So it's complete in one. And then we have these theorems, which are very classical. <coughs> Theorem that are given that terms of two submanifolds, yes, but still submanifolds, not general sets. Uh, Subjectic uh, manifolds are subject to more, if and only if. Gems of, of geometric uh, restrictions are different more. So that means that this is complete uh, invariant, there is a different more side, such that, and so on. And then, uh, and then our, our non singular hypersexual gems in, in, in K to N are, are subject to more. All I call isotropic are subject to morphic and so on. So yeah. then we the project, a program of investigation of, 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 for, to investigate uh, subjective um, invariants extended to <coughs> to using symbolic for example, to kind of uh, theory which is similar to Marvel theory. But uh, the, the right and left, the left is symplectic, for example. Left is symplectic. It's not deformorphism, but symplectomorphism. And this is symplectic. And there are few results, uh, let's say, already done. Uh, Wojtek with. Uh, mm. with this German, with this German. Yeah. Oh, Johan Rieger, uh, uh, Misha Zetomirski, Kuhn, something. And perhaps others. So this is it's very simple. You see, we have standard formulation. We have this smooth map, F, and then with uh, multi germ of that map. And uh, there are symplectic A equivalent now, not, uh, not A, but very uh, symplectic A. So then, then you recognize this, that F is symplectic equivalent if, if F is, uh, uh, this is right, is deformorphism, left is and then uh, from that, we have also uh, might be con uh, uh, using this uh, formulation that give uh, double given tal theorem might be formulated like that, that to imagine germs Fg are simply ectomorphic only if the restrictions, this one, pullbacks, are different morphic. Now that before was more complicated. So uh, in the a linear case, you see, that was quite non-linear everything. But how is this a linear case? A linear case is since people don't understand that everything was done. Right. No. But again, the, the, in linear the symplectic space, we have uh, some say linear uh, automorphis, F symplectomorphis, but linear symplectomorphis, and everything is linear here. Then, uh, of course, what does it mean? That means that if you transform u vector u by f and v by f, then, then you get the same like you transform it. So, F is symplectic group. Symplectic group is a very well, relatively difficult group. Uh, matrix is symplectic. Uh, and uh, then we have these restrictions, the linear case, that are symplectic invariant according to this. And now there is a question. If we have, uh, if we have say, like before, subset N, not N, but L here now. So, well, if, then we, we are interested in, so, in such a problem. We have a linear automorphism, general one. And let's have reserves on the symplectic data on, on some submanifold. <coughs> then this condition is done only partially, not on all for all vector space, but for subspace. Then is a question, for example, uh, it is what is this? How much we need L, or one, or big, or what is this? What kind of structure? That if this is fulfilled, that we can extend that for whole uh, space. I mean, that, that, that L is already symplectomorphism. And then it's, 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 it appeared that this is a big question. It was uh, uh, considered as a bit Jelonek, uh, Jelonek. And uh, uh, 
so, and that is, uh, that is a matter to, to answer this question. So if we have a linear, linear, linear subspace, yeah, and basis, this is the basis of L, and uh, you can see that we can merge uh, it to, to, to that, to, to projective space, by, by Psi, and then we define uh, we have more, many of such of some n, uh, such uh, spaces as one. We call them coplana if there are, there are no stain on one, <coughs> say, hyperplane. So if there are no stain on one hyperplane, they are, co they are called non coplana. Here, a coplana if there exists a hyperplane containing all points like that, but, that, but in this projective space here defined for. Uh, for um, uh, for, for this uh, grass map. And then, uh, of course, there are no problems if, if there, there is pan linear in this pro projective space. Uh, then, it's a, the question when linear automorphisms are simple automorphisms is a very elegant answer because it's saying that, well, maybe it's someone can expect it, that uh, everyone uh, uh, are not coplanar then F preserves M K on this, so not on one subspace, uh, in subspace but on, on some number of such subspaces, then F is an AK symplectomorphic. So it is enough to have <coughs> a property to be symplectomorphic on some number of hyperplanes, which are not coplanar. Then we can extend that, so the skeleton is enough, and we have uh, yeah, 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 finish. <laughs> and then this is uh, the just uh, very similar problem to before, to consider before, but uh, but a bit um, uh, elementary. So there is a few results with that. So I will uh, postpone now because I have no time. In singular case, in singular case, symplectic invariant. Come back again to nonlinear case. Is is uh, is uh, is, uh, we, we are in, is problematic. So this hidden symplectic invariants are considered like that. You see, everything here is no, uh, non-active, the curve, but only that points. That points here. There are some restricted Hamiltonian systems <laughs> which are on that on that plane, and we also investigate the Hamiltonian systems on sub sub many points which is interesting because they, in some sense they get an energy. The energy is, is defined on that, it's a kind of high order the energy. And uh, this is uh, useful in, 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 in uh, physics. So uh, maybe I, uh, I, I put uh, quickly to, um, to, 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 to uh, the curves. The curves are uh, um, you know, this is also going to this, uh, this uh, investigations. Also, for caps, we have this uh, symplectic um, defect, which is invariant. A few symplectic invariants, uh, which are defined with with Gorish cover, and uh, this was um, <coughs> see, I, uh, yeah. Symplectic versa deformation of curves is uh, is very interesting because is uh, is um, uh, in, in this uh, there are not all uh, powers appears here only for example odd or even and this is like that the symplectic deformation of curves and the and the Hamiltonian system on varieties and that's it then I, uh, on varieties because uh, then. Uh, if you have well-defined symplectic structure on, uh, on, on varieties or in sets, then we continue the uh, algebra of, of objects which have uh, invariant properties. Hamiltonian systems, uh, vector fields are, are just uh, uh, here invariant objects. And we have also a project to investigate the special classes of Hamiltonian systems and varieties. Thank you very much. Questions? Just back to your uh, this 
surface case. Just the uh, surface case? Yeah, when you reflect um, the point, he said if you look at uh, the product of the cotton. Yeah, yeah. Does. Ah! Yeah. So, what sort of global results do you get? In, you said in this linear case? No. no which, the, the initial problem you uh, talked about. Uh, mm. So, you reflect around the point. Yeah. And they say if you. Uh, there, 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 there is a good question. Yeah. Okay. That's it. You said if you do it this way. Yeah, because but for two, this is the, the, at least uh, that this is possible to define it globally here, yeah, properly. And of course, we have this uh, set of uh, bifurcation set. Yeah, bifurcation set is a caustic here. Yeah. And this caustic we have globally. Because then the all, all this singular, then we have global. Global uh, structure of, of, of uh, uh, you know parabolic set and then uh, all these high, uh, regions and these branches of parabolic sets which are outgoing from uh, from itself. I know that with these points which are special parabolic and so on. So we have the, at least global. That's for now. But does it give you global information about the surface of geometry? Not yet uh, used. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good question. Any more questions? Right, so you next time.